We're back testing out personalities on Football Manager 2024 and today we're looking at Resolute. Resolute for me is quite a good personality, I think, really, but we've busted these myths before. So, who knows, it might not turn out as good as we think. Let's find out, shall we? And we've gone different nationalities because the same five nationalities was getting boring. England, France, Spain, all that jazz. So we've gone Romania, Poland, Scotland, Norway and Denmark. Because why not? Yes, I've got to have those leagues loaded so they can start off and actually play some games and all that. But Football Manager 2024 simulates a lot faster. So why not? If you've got any nations that you want me to do in some of these, let me know. I don't even need to keep them all on the same continent. I've got a couple of other set up where I've got Asia, I've got South America on the go. So bring it to me and I'll try and do it. But it must be in the base game. The nation must be in the base game and have a league playable. So 90 current ability, 200 potential ability we've gone wingers as well it's all changed today ladies and gentlemen we've gone wingers i don't think we've done wingers yet have we in one of these personality tests if we have i apologize but i don't think we have so let's have a look at the players cosmin muntianu and there he is mid journey faced of course because the regen faces are crap and there he is they've all got exactly the same uh, breakdown they're all 169 Nice. Centimetres tall. They're 60 kilos. There's Jersey Davidovsky. Archie Burns. As I say, all exactly the same breakdown in terms of polygon and attributes. Henrik Pettersson. Doesn't quite look 15 with that beard, does he? But he looks very, very Scandinavian. So I thought, yeah, he'll do for the Norwegian. Norwegian? The Norwegian? Is that right? Norwegian? No. Norwegian. And the Dane. Victor Hickelberg. Hickelberg. And some of these names that Football Manager throws up. And that's part of the charm for me now. I love some of these names that he throws up. That's why I just stick with it. Right. So we've looked to all the players we've looked to all the mid journey faces time to look at the personality this is resolute adaptability decent i don't think it matters really i think 1 to 20 is fine ambition 12 loyalty down at 8 pressure at 12 consistency 10 important matches 12 versatility 7 professionalism up at 15 which is always a good sign as if you're new around here and you've not been on the channel before go and watch the professionalism attribute breakdown where we did a team with one professionalism and a team with 20 professionalism over a two video series night and day the results sportsmanship at 12 temperament at 14 dirtiness at 10 injury proneness at 1 of course we like to keep it down there and controversy at 7 so a few of these won't really play into the resolute personality but on the whole resolute isn't too bad i think determination plays a factor here for resolute as well determination has to be i think it was between 14 and i want to say 17 can't quite remember leadership may have had to have been above nine i put him at 10 anyway so there's your attribute breakdowns there is the hidden attributes for the resolute personality now of course we have seen personalities change over the course of these simulations but again that's part of the charm because sometimes it changes like by one attribute where the personality becomes looks like it's really good when they've actually got awful hidden attributes so it's eye-opening for you as a viewer and eye-opening for me as a well foot manager player at the end of the day that's why i'm doing it to educate myself and you guys and hopefully entertain you on the way so without further ado let's jump forward one year to 2024 and see what clubs they start out at okay so here we go then we've got gornik in the polish first division now i'm not going to know some of these teams so 31,000 32,000 capacity for gornik i mean gornik zabras why did i pick nations where i'm not gonna be able to pronounce half the teams media prediction is first so they think they're going to go up from the polish first division uh, they've just been promoted hang on gornik are in the polish first division and they've just been relegated unfortunately they've just been relegated with our man it's going to be a bit of a voyage of discovery on teams so if you've got any insight into some of these teams that they go to please do let me know in the comments down below i'm always up for a bit more education i really do appreciate any insight people can give me in terms of history background or any sort of like rules for nations i mean people have got involved in the past uh, people do love to correct my bad pronunciation as well so feel free to do that as well but gornik jersey davidovsky and he's injured unfortunately returning to fitness imminently he's only on 55 pounds a week he's played 18 times for the reserves gornik 2 13 times for the first team 12 of those off the bench though so not really broken into the first team yet but he's up at 104 which is pretty good cosmin unfortunately 90 out of 200 still he's at fcsb which is stua bucharest i think they're in the champions league so I, and look fifty-five thousand capacity stadium and good facilities it's 
Stu Bucharest, isn't it? There we go. They won it by an absolute landslide there. But unfortunately, Cosmin didn't play at all. A single minute for them. Or in the under-18s, he hasn't improved either, which is very disappointing. We're going to come to Archie in a moment. I, I, I appreciate I've missed him out. As you can see, Jersey's been retrained slightly as an attacking midfield, uh, just a midfield, right? He's awkward there. Uh, Victor Hickelberg at Helsingor. 13 games starts as well. The Nordic Bet Liga. What tier of Denmark is this? Second tier. Yeah. Yeah, he's in the second second tier of Denmark playing for Helsingor and last season they finished in the playoffs obviously didn't go up in the playoffs promotion stage Helsingor there they go oh so it's not promotion it's like sort of like a, a league split anyway look I don't quite know how all that works I maybe should play some save files in these nations so I'm a bit more familiar with them but yeah he's played 13 times from two goals three assists he's getting a 6.99 and he's moved up to 115 so he's second in terms of progression Henrik Pettersson is at 110 he's gone to Rosenborg and unfortunately Unfortunately, Rosenborg, one of the bigger teams in the in the Norwegian leagues, he's been playing for Rosenborg 2 down in the third division and even then not playing for them loads. So that's why he's only at 110. He's not kicked on quite as much as he maybe could have done. And the reason he's probably got to 110 is because he's actually been retrained as an attacking midfield centre. So some of his attribute weighting is going to be taken up with that instead of just being a winger, sadly. Archie Burns then, he's unhappy. He's unhappy about failing to reach the playoffs. He's playing for Partick Thistle and he is playing for Partick Thistle. 18 starts, 12 off the bench, 4 goals, 3 assists, 2 player of the matches, and 6.92 overall. So, Archie Burns, 116 out of 200. He has improved the most. So it's disappointing that Cosmin hasn't improved at all. And some of the formative years where they do get to kick on, he's going to be lagging behind now. Not to say he won't be able to catch up. Of course, he will be able to catch up. But he hasn't played a single minute of professional football. That's got to change pretty soon. So let's go through to 2025 and see what's going on. As they're 17, about to turn 18, and possibly, maybe, some wanted signs of some moves on the horizon and a bit more improvement as well but before we do that if you could please take the time and subscribe to the channel it mean a hell of a lot to me massive growth recently and i'm so humbled by it all i just can't believe how well the channel's going and how many people are enjoying the content but there's lots more there and there's lots more coming of these attribute breakdowns personality type simulation breakdowns and all that good stuff and yeah there's plenty of other fun stuff that's going to be coming in the near future soon so yeah hopefully something for everyone so while you're here if you're new around here please do subscribe if you're not new around here and you haven't subscribed you've heard this plea before and it's always already fallen on deaf ears so not much more I can do 2025 then okay so Archie Burns has gone to Liverpool Henry Pettersson is still at Rosenborg Jersey's at Gornick still and he's unhappy he wants to leave following a contract extension being triggered at a time when he was concerned about the quality of the squad oh he's gone to the management and kicked off and instead of instead of appeasing him they've just triggered a contract extension and he's fuming his old Davidovsky he's there till 2028 I think he's going to get a big money move in advance. He's not worth a lot, but that's probably because he's playing in the Polish second tier. Uh, but he is up at 124. Now, Victor is at 122, who's moved to Lazio. Cosmin at 107. There you go. He's been playing a little bit for Stuart Bucharest. Only seven games. Five of them are off the bench, to be fair. But he played 27 times for S for Stuart Bucharest 2 last season. So at least he's at, at least he's getting some game time. And it's showing 107 out of 200. Archie Burns made his move to Liverpool for £5.75 million. Pounds, though. He's got two caps for Scotland already. And he moved. When did he move? He bought. He was bought by Liverpool on the 27th of January. So unfortunately and annoyingly, Liverpool haven't left him on loan at Partick Thistle to continue his development. That hasn't hampered him at the moment. He is still the best out of all of them. And if we compare him to Cosmin, you can see Cosmin's just been absorbed in terms of his polygon. Who's played Archie as a centre-back? Cosmin's been played as a right midfield and a left back, but Cos who's played him as a centre back? Henrik Pettersson, then. He's, he's in the under 21s, 10 under 21 caps, four goals. He's, like I say, been retrained as a cam. In terms of playing for Rosenborg, well, he's played 11 times this season. Oh, this season's only 11 games in. He's a first choice, reg he's a first team regular for Kerry Britson. There he is. He's on the left hand side. Fair play. Henrik Pettersson at 128 is a staple in the Norwegian, in the Rosenborg squad. Jersey, as we saw for Gornick, he's not very happy. He's probably going to move on, I would have thought. Victor went to Lazio for free. Now, was that because his contract? expired i mean for helsingor he played 29 times that season 7.06 and he's getting the game time but he's down at 122 so he's eight off archie now it's probably because the danish second tier was not competitive enough is it much worse than the scottish second tier where archie was representing i don't think so but liverpool have 
picked them up an absolute bargain at 5.75 million he's already worth 27 to 81 million and they're all going to get there they're all going to they're all moving through this resolute personality is working wonders for these five youngsters let's go through another year to 2026 so let's quickly go through to 2026 because i want to have these drop-ins a little bit more snappy because they're not quite in the squad yet when they're in the squads and they're playing week in week out then we'll start looking over leagues and we'll see who's won trophies and stuff but until then let's move through a little bit quicker okay well Cosmin's still at Stuart Bucharest and he's up at 131 he's probably playing week in week out and there he is 36 times this season none of those were off the bench but 7.09 Three goals, four assists, four play with the matches. And he's won the league with them. They won the league. He didn't really play in the 23-24 season. He actually didn't play at all in the 23-24 season. So you can't say he won the league then. But he's won the Romanian league with Stuart Bucharest, which is lovely to see. Henrik Pettersson then has gone from Rosenborg, capped by Norway once as well, to Real Madrid for £5.75 million. Um... Yeah, did not win the league with them, sadly. But Real Madrid, Jurgen Klopp's Real Madrid, no less, came a knock in and purchased him. Uh, Victor Hickelberg is still at Lazio. He's wanted, though, by Sheffield United on loan. He's actually been on loan to Troyes. 13 games, 4 goals, 2 assists. Not too shabby. But unfortunately, he's down at 134. He is the second worst out of all five of the players. And the top two, well, it's level pegging for Archie and Jertsey. Now, Jertsey Davidovsky has moved to PSG. Moved for £750,000. And look at that. He, he When did he go? He was signed on the 1st of the 9th, 2025. So just over a year ago. And then he went out on loan to Sochaux. He's gone on loan to Sochaux in Ligue 2 where he played 25 times all of them starts three goals two assists two play with the matches for wingers not really they're not really scoring as many goals as I would have liked for wingers but getting a 7.15 overall as a rating fair play to him Archie is still at Liverpool and do you know what he's played 12 times 11 of those were off the bench which is unfortunate but Man City have just been winning the league as well rubbish Unai Emery's in charge of Liverpool Better go, go on Unai Pep's still at City three Champions Leagues annoyingly Ugh. Four, in, in three seasons they've won two two Champions Leagues and Arsenal have won one and they've won the Premier League every season Mikel Arteta is still in charge of Arsenal that, that might all change but all the, all the Premier League managers seem to be still there now Diego Simeone is now in charge of Man United Eric Ten Hag has left the building who knows whether he'll still be there in real life by the time this comes out. Now, we have got a change in personality type. It's Henrik Pettersson. He's now fairly determined. So, what's changed? Ambition. Down to nine, I believe. Yeah, ambition. We change his ambition. Oh, no, still fairly determined. What is it? Okay, so he's fairly determined, and it's the professionalism that he's lost. So, professionalism has dropped from 15 to 12. He's lost some other attributes as well. Ambition and loyalty. I don't think they've had any effects. Because um, I think ambition was about 12, wasn't it? And loyalty was it up about eight or nine, I think. But professionalism is what's dropped here. So professionalism has gone from resolute to fairly determined. Another another personality type, which in my opinion, fairly determined is okay. What we've seen in a different experiment, fairly determined was actually awful because they just the, the right attribute breakdown had worked, but it was such a broad spectrum that they'd gone from a bad personality type to fairly determined. I think anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, fairly determined is changed too. So resolute is better than fairly determined. So so yeah, the 130s and 140s is where they're all at. And we've got three of them at big clubs. Cosmin's going to move from Romania, almost certainly. Victor might move from Lazio. But in the first season, Lazio won the league. So, you know, he might give his he might be given his opportunity. And until he becomes world class, he might stay where he is. So what we're going to do, in the interest of keeping things a little bit more concise, let's go through at this point. Let's go to 2028 and jump two years. See how things are getting see how things are progressing. Right. So, well, would you look at that? Firstly, let's have a a quick look at Jersey Davidovsky at 172 at PSG. He's playing. So he after his loan move, admittedly, 17 of those appearances were from off, off the bench. And then the following season, 18 were off the bench. He's starting a few more games, but he's playing and he's up at 172 at the tender age of 20 years old. He's already got 30 caps for Poland, only four goals, which is a bit rubbish. But he is playing for PSG, and of course, I would Pep's in charge. Okay. PSG have been winning the league, so he's got the French League to his name. In terms of managers, um Lucien Enrique left, Pep then came in. Luis Enrique is the manager of Liverpool because Unai, em Unai Emery resigned to go and become the manager of Spain because Jagoba Araste, Araste resigned. He's now gone from the game, so he's um, quit. He's left. Marco Rose has become the manager of Manchester City and in terms of the Premier League, Arsenal and City have both won one apiece and I think it's probably pertinent to actually go and, uh, and look at our Premier League representative, Archie Burns, who's playing for Liverpool and as you can see, Browning got into being a fantastic player. 
player. £135,000 a week as well. In terms of his career stats, well, he played 11 times off the bench and 14 times off the bench that second season. No goals, no assists, no player of the matches. But in this most recent season, starting 28 times, nine goals, five assists, five player of the matches, and he's doing pretty well. 7.43 overall and 34 caps, 10 goals for Scotland. A goal every three games from a, a winger? That's pretty good, isn't it? Cosme Muntianu then, he did get his move and he went to Bayer Leverkusen in Germany. He's wanted though by United and Real Madrid. 4.7 million pounds, three goals in 16 appearances for Romania. And he, he, he moved pretty much straight away. He's been at Bayer Leverkusen for two seasons and actually been in the first team. Again, a 7.84 over seven games for Stuart Bucharest and Bayer Leverkusen just before the deadline shut said yes please let's have a little bit of that and what a bargain he was he's got over seven a 7.04 and a 7.32 over two seasons um, and I'm almost certain that if they sell him they're going to get big money for him they're probably going to be getting 50, 60, 70, 80 million pounds for him you would expect Victor is still at Lazio and he's moved to 163 he's doing pretty well as well and again 18 off the bench in that 23 appearance appearances but this season 33 appearances three times off the bench 7.31 six goals six assists six player of the matches all the sixes and it's nearly all the 17s as well in his total for his career and he's got 12 player of the matches instead of 17 which is unfortunate because that would have been a nice little bit of number symmetry Henrik though is playing for Real Madrid or not playing for Real Madrid as it would seem he's he's ugh, he's the one he's the one that I'm feeling a little bit underwhelmed by 148 out of 200 he should still get there they're only 20 years old we're going to jump through another two years in a moment but it's disappointing really that he's not kicked on or been able to get in the first team for Real Madrid Madrid. I mean, of course, they've got some phenomenal talent and they've they've won the Spanish League most recently and he's only up at 148. So no wonder he's not playing week in, week out. But I mean, if you just look at these guys, I mean, these are starting to break into some of the best teams in the world as well. And it, it, it would annoy me if they, if they bought Cosmin and then Henrik suffered because of it. Just play Henrik, getting better Real Madrid. That's about all there is to look at at this juncture. So what we'll do is we're going to jump through two more years now to 2030 and finish off the decade in style. I say in style, but who knows how, who knows how we're going to finish the decade off. Well, look at that. Two more more years down the line and Archie Burns is at 199 for Liverpool and what a player he is he's he's absolutely tearing it up in the Premier League as well playing 33 times for two seasons in a row and they've won their Premier League he has helped spearhead them to a Premier League victory 85 points 76 goals the award winners Bikaya Saka got player of the year he's not even in team of the year he's player's young player though he's player's young player for three years in a row Archie Burns go on Archie top goal scorer well it's not going to be Archie is it Amika Adebayo though some regen for Man City who was bought from KV Mechelen well he's pretty good isn't he 188 potential ability 179 uh, current ability 12.75 million they paid for him sickening isn't it absolutely sickening but he's won the league with Liverpool as Archie Burns and he's at 199 as I've already just mentioned so Jer see Davidovsky he's at PSG and he's wanted by Liverpool Liverpool want another one of these and he's going to set them back a pretty penny if they go for him of course PSG are almost certainly to have won the league the last two years and they have the question is who has won the Champions League because they're all at teams now that are going to be pushing for the Champions League speaking of pushing for the Champions League Cosmin has moved to Bayern Munich and he moved for 91 million pounds 81 million up front 91 million including add-ons he's not quite hit that threshold yet but Bayer Leverkusen had two phenomenal seasons out of him and then Bayern have had two even better seasons out of him 29 games 7.54 overall and then a 7.61 over 27 games and the Bundesliga well Dortmund won it in his first season but they've taken it back and they've won it in his second season so he's a current German league champion he finished third in his first season I can't believe it I can't believe it Bayern Munich finishing third but they, they paid the big bucks for Cosmin and he's doing the business he's number four don't know how I feel about that 190 out of 200 Victor at Lazio is wanted by West Ham and he's at 176 he's wanted by West Ham can West Ham afford him what are West Ham doing with themselves I was about to say finishing in the relegation zone season preview West Ham they think are going to be mid table so yeah I'm not sure why um, West Ham are going to buy him but hey if West Ham buy him all power to him all power to them and Henrik Pettersson unfortunately is only up at 169 he's way off the pace and he's still at Real Madrid and he's starting to play more his last two seasons he's broken through he played he started more times than he was coming off the bench in his second his season before last and then last season he played 34 times 30 of those were starts 12 goals as well so fair play to him and they won the league both seasons so he's currently a three-time 
La Liga winner, I believe. And Liverpool have won two Champions, three Champions Leagues in a row. So Archie Burns is a two-time Champions League winner. Sorry, Archie Burns is a three-time champion, three-time Champions League winner. Yeah, he's been there for a long time. Yeah, God, of course he has. So he's been playing ever since. So he's three. He's won the Champions League three times already at the tender age of 22. That is phenomenal. And the, the players are already there in terms of their current ability. They're basically all going to get there. So Resolute is an absolutely beautiful personality unfortunately victor's slipped to fairly determined what's your problem victor professionalism his loyalty has gone down to four yeah but he's been at lazio for five years and not not thought about moving i don't know so he, he probably will move and i think they'll all be at 200 the next time we come back because we're going to jump through three years now to 2033 and i think victor's going to have left lazio and i wouldn't be i'd like to see a couple of other moves for them i'll be honest with you i'd like to see some huge money moves so uh jersey is at PSG as previously, and he's up at 200 comfortability, 675,000 pounds a week, and he's playing a hell of a lot. Absolutely ripping it up. League uh, who beats Nice won three years ago, and then PSG have won the last two league titles. Jurgen Klopp is now their manager. So hang on, Pep left to go and become the manager of Inter. We're doing this again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, because Pep went to become the manager because Diego Simeone got sacked, who's now gone to become the manager of Marseille. We can't do much merry-go-round there. But Mikel Arteta came in and got sacked. He's now unemployed but anyway, jersey davidovsky at psg is absolutely tearing things up and who will win ballon d'ors that's the question henrik Petterson is now at 199 for real madrid and he looks pretty good to me and he's playing load look at that an 8.08 with 21 goals 12 assists in a season where they must have won the league 102 points and he's a full 0.3 ahead of the second place average rated best player which is a 7.78 for vinicius g Junior, which is insane he's got the golden boot he's got the second most assists one behind nicholas dominguez on 13 he's got 12 assists 21 goals 8.08 what an absolute season for the lad. Henrik Pettersson, welcome to the party. He got 10 play with the matches three years ago. He's been brilliantly for, brilliant for the last three seasons. Funnily enough, the season that he got 10 play with the matches, Barcelona won the league. Unbelievable. And to be honest, I thought he might have won play of the year for a few seasons in a row, but no, it's been Jude. Oh, look at that though. Henrik was third, second, then first. He's he's moved up the ladder and it's been those three. Oh no, Jan Kuto for Atletico. But Vinicius, Jude and Henrik have been the top three in two of those seasons and uh, Jude and Henrik were in there the other season Vinicius missed out Cosmin has moved he's at 199 and he's moved from Bayern Munich to PSG now Bayern Munich did pay that extra 10 million so 91 million pounds he then played a lot and then in January of the season just gone PSG came a knock in for 88 million pounds potential cost including add-ons of 94 million and Bayern Munich said yes I mean, why? You've made a £3 million profit on a player that you could sell for £175 to £200 million easily. But max, max, max ability. What's your biggest transfer that you've ever done in terms of players sold? I know I sold Alex Scott on the last Football Manager for 200 million to buy in Munich with Southampton. Was it Southampton? Yeah. With a heavy heart it was, but hey, it set me up for the next few seasons and was a great move. But uh, that was my biggest ever sale, 200 million pounds. And that was Alex Scott, who was probably, probably about 170 odd current and potential ability. Not 200, like Cosme Muntianu. 94 million pounds, you've been done by in Munich. And the only thing I can think of is, is his contracts might have been running down and he wasn't going to renew because he wanted to leave for whatever reason. And do you know what? He's not been winning the league. Bayern Munich haven't been as good. Domin Dominico Tedesco is in charge. And out of the last three years, they've only won the league once. And he wasn't there for it. He left. Does that mean he, he, he doesn't win the league? He's won the league and Parrot in the French Cup. It doesn't count as a German league win. Devastating. Uh, 61 caps, 19 goals for Cosmin as well. Uh, Archie Burns at Liverpool, down in fourth. Oh, still at 199. I mean, phenomenal. Phenomenal talent. In terms of Liverpool, Gary Dicker is in charge. Who's Gary Dicker? Caretaker manager at Brighton. He's the under-18s manager at Brighton. Under-21s assistant manager, I believe, in real life. Uh, and then he'd become the caretaker manager a couple of times and then he's become assistant manager at Liverpool. Oh, he's now caretaker manager at Liverpool. Why? What's happened? Who's, who's been sacked? Luis Enrique has been sacked. He's now unemployed. There's a bid on him by Brentford. Brentford? Brentford are going for Luis Enrique due to the club's poor league position. So where have they finished? They won the league last season. This season just gone. Man City have taken it back. They finished fourth and they won the Champions League last season. Real Madrid have won two Champions Leagues as well. So Petterson is a double Champions League winner. Who, who was it who changed to fairly determined as well? They've gone back to Resolute anyway. 
only Henrik's at fairly determined. And bringing up the rear is Victor Hickelberg, who is still got four loyalty and he's still at Lazio. Playing brilliantly. He's 25 years old. He, he could still get there to 200. Is he going to get that move? Poch is in charge of Lazio. And four seasons ago, they won Serie A. So he's actually won Serie A in 2030. Fair play to him. He's got 74 caps, 22 goals for Denmark. So in terms of most caps, 82 for Jerzy Davidovsky. But they've all over. They've all got over 60 caps. They'll all get over 100 caps. Easy. We'll look in on internationals at the end and see if any of these nations did sneak a trophy. So it's been very successful. Very successful for these guys so far. Um, they're all going to basically make it. So what we're going to do is jump through four years now to 2037. And they'll be 29 years old. They won't. That'll be the age where they're starting to think about declining. I don't think they will have started declining by 2020, uh, by 29 years old. So Victor should get there. Archie, I mean, these guys at 199, the reason they've not hit 200 is because the attribute that needs to improve will probably be weighted to jump up more than a singular attribute point in terms of countability. So they're just locked where they are. Let's go to 2037 and see if there's any other big moves on the horizon. Well, there's been no moves whatsoever and, he and Victor has only got to 192. I mean, I say only got to 192, but he's still at Lazio. And oh dear. I mean, look at this. He's absolutely smashing it 15 goals a season for the last two years absolutely ripping it up Lazio Didier Deschamps in charge Atalanta are winning the league who they got Philippe Clement in charge I mean in terms of their current ability three defenders are the best players for them I mean do you know what as a squad not that insane a lot of 140s few 150s like 150s 160s and a 17 yeah 175 is phenomenal but when you're in the Premier League you probably want to be looking at these four players to be like maybe position 10 to 14 in terms of your best players maybe 6 to 10 I don't know maybe a bit harsh but Victor has got to 192 and he's not won the league with Lazio has he won anything milestones Italian Cup well they've, they've won the Italian Cup a couple of times the last two times shall we say and he's, he was the scored the winner against Napoli with a penalty Victor Hickelberg with a pen go on lad and it was after extra time there he did not score but he got a 9 man, man of the match obviously got some assists fair play to him wow now, player of the match, Victor Hickelberg, assist. A key pass, brilliant stuff. I mean, we last saw Poch was here. Zidane was in charge of Lazio for a bit. He was now the manager of. He's now the Zinedine Zidane. He's now the manager of France. But where's his face gone? Why is his face pack not there? Zinedine Zidane has got a face. I've, I've just we've just seen it about two minutes ago. Whatever. Poch is now at Liverpool. Yeah, Poch took over just over three years ago at Liverpool. And speaking of Liverpool, then it's Archie Burns, and he has been again pretty good. Only seventy-eight caps for Scotland. Is he is he retired from international football? One second. David Personnel. Ralph. Ralph Hassenhutl, former manager. It must have been the Scottish. He must have been the Scotland manager. I can't believe we didn't see it. I can't believe we didn't see it. Nearly four years he was in charge of Scotland was old Ralph. Eric Ten Hag's been in charge as well of Scotland for four years. Y you can't keep Ralph out of the videos, can you? You can't keep them out of the videos. I thought that was a low... Uh, international cap total and I went looking for his um whether he retired from international football which he doesn't state he has so I would say he's still playing for them and there he is he's, he's the captain so yeah he's still playing for them so why has he only got 78 caps when jersey has got 120 Henrik then for Real Madrid uh looking at looking at him again he's just phenomenal talent he's Real Madrid in the last four years have won the league four times fair play to them two Champions Leagues for PSG one for Bayern and one for Liverpool so the current Champions League holders are Liverpool and Archie Burns and they're current Premier League champions as well have they won, have they won the FA Cup oh it's West Ham West Ham have won the FA look at this look at the FA Cup winners West Ham Sunderland Bournemouth Crystal Palace West Ham Arsenal Bournemouth the only team there that is you would expect to win the FA Cup out of that is bloody Arsenal Charlton in the final there who are they in the championship I know I've gone high pitched shocked no manager at West Ham Tycoon Nils Gustafsson in 2027 Conference League winners okay so um, Real Madrid will be smashing it PSG of course just seen two Champions League wins for them loads of league wins they're absolutely smashing it who's in charge there still Jürgen he's loving life Ulrich Anderson's in charge of Real Madrid lovely little regen he's not very happy about it is he it's a very stern face isn't he uh, Cosmin still at, still at PSG good luck at his polygon I mean he's, oh his contract's running out his contract's expiring he's on £700,000 a week is he going to leave is he going leave he's wanted by Saudi Arabia at the end of his contract he's going Cosmin you sly old bastard Cosmin he's going he's going to leave Real Madrid he's going to leave PSG high and dry and I'm here for it three of them have all turned to professional personality as well professionalism being over 15 now so I think the threshold for this personality type resolute 
was probably 17. And let's have a quick look. Should we, should we, should we, have, a, should we have a test? There we go. I've just changed professionalism to 17 and he's now become resolute again. So as you hit from 17 to 18, you get professional personality. Um, we're gonna go I'm going to just quickly jump one year to see if Cosmin does go to Saudi Arabia. He has left. They've all, they're all still there where they were. Um, no one's really done anything. Vita's now at 193. Cosmin, though, uh, Al Ali, only getting £1.5 million a week, you skin flint. Team players get up to £1.8 million a week. So disappointing from their perspective, from his perspective, to not be getting an extra 300k. But I suppose you're getting £1.5 million pounds a week. What are you going to do about it? Not really. Doesn't really matter, does it? He's left PSG on a free. That's hilarious. They paid £94 million pounds for him. And he started off the slowest at Stowe Bucharest, didn't he? He started off the slowest and he's he's ending with a bang. Right. Let's come, let's go to, into the 2040s. We'll go through another. How old are they now? 30. Let's go, go 2042. Let's just round things off. Let's get to 2042 and let's just sort of rattle through things. Okay, so uh, Jersey is wanted by Saudi Arabia at Real Madrid. They are starting to decline, of course. Um oh, sorry. Jersey's gone to Real Madrid. When did that happen? He moved he left for free as well. PSG lost him for free. I mean, to be fair, they did get him for seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. So they, they did all right. They did do all right out of him. Um PSG have started to lose lose the leagues. Poch has resigned. Poch came, came back for another spell. Mikel Arteta, Klopp was there for nearly seven years and he, he left the manager role. He's now retired. He went to West Ham for three years. What have West Ham got? West Ham have won a Champions League in 2041. And they're the, the current Premier, Premier League champions. Um, Niels Gustafsson's now scaling down his funding. Yeah, he, he took over the tycoon. Look at this. Felipe, phenomenal player for West Ham. Loads of players in the 170s, 160s one, and all that. Brilliant. Okay, so, so it's all kicking off. Jersey at Real Madrid is potentially going to go to Saudi Arabia. Cosmin, still in Saudi Arabia. He's moved from Al Ali to Al Hilal. He's, on, he's now on one. He's on £925,000 a week, but he was on £1.5 at Al Ali. So... Three years, so he earned about 80 million a year. He was in a quarter of a billion from Al Ali, then he's gone to Al Hilal for a couple of years. So for that, over five years, he's probably earned about 350 million pounds. And that's not to mention the earnings that he made before that in his career. He's probably earned the best part of um, half a billion. Archie Burns then is also wanted by Saudi Arabia. He is still. So, 78 caps, 26 goals. What's happened there? Retired from international football in 2037. So, he, he had retired. We were last here in 2037. We were, we, was it, was it, no, yeah, what, was it, yeah, it was 2037. But, he, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happened there. Anyway, Liverpool, Premier Division, not won the league for the last few years. Disappointing, unfortunately. Domenico Tedesco, who's in charge. Like, I don't know how he's managed to get himself in charge of Liverpool. He was awful at Bayern Munich. Although, they have just won the Champions League. West Ham won the Champions League the season before that. Who's in charge for West Ham? No one. One, who was in charge managers Luis Enrique retired from management Jurgen Klopp was there of course we saw that Luis Enrique was there and left to go to Man City speaking of Man City Ulrich Anderson is there who's now who was at Real Madrid before full circle um, and Victor Victor Hickelberg did go to Man City for free in, in his 30s no more trophies for Lazio unfortunately he's not even won the Premier League he's gone to Man City for a free released on a free transfer went on a free to Man City released I don't think they released him I think he probably wanted to leave but he's gone to Man City to try and win a league and he's um, lost that to West Ham uh, and then Henrik is still at Real Madrid he's been there for a hell of a long time he's been there for the basically the majority of his career Barcelona have snuck in with a couple of league wins but it's been all about Real Madrid Roberto De Zerbi is in charge they have won a couple more Champions Leagues as well so they've done really well let's just I'm going to move through and start to get to their retirements and how they're still moving on so let's go to 2045 and see who's left right so two of them have gone and Victor's also retiring Jersey's still going Real Madrid have got the money's worth out of him he's still going as a winger his pace and his pace is falling off he's actually playing as a central midfielder I would have thought now been shared around a bit is the is the league Villarreal winning on goal difference right so they've all gone in 2046 let's go back so we've lost Cosmin. I mean, of course we have. He's probably dead. Like, oh, he's probably, like, I mean, Cosmin's got all that money. Archie Burns, one and a half million pounds a week at Al Itihad. Victor Hickelberg's gone for 1.6 to Al Hilal, 1.6 million pounds a week. 10 and a half million pounds, Man City, by selling him. And uh, Jersey's still at Real Madrid. We saw that. And Henrik's retiring. So let's have a quick look at uh, some international sort of accolades. So the past winners of the Euros. Well, look at that. In 2040, Scotland were runner up when uh, Archie had retired from international football so pointless no one got to the final or won it in the euros in terms of the world cup it's been three for france 
One for Brazil, one for Argentina. Wales running up to Argentina most recently. No one at all has done anything internationally, unfortunately, which is a bit bit of a shame, really. But so let's have a quick look at the NXGN award. Did any of them win it to begin with? Uh, Evan Ferguson, no Laminia Mal. So no one won it early doors, sadly. Under 21 Football of the Year. It was just Jude Bellingham, wasn't it? Just Jude Bellingham. And the Football of the Year then, um, we've got Davidovsky has won one. Henrik Pettersson with three for Real Madrid. Jude Bellingham, Erling Haaland, Jude. The Henrik at Real Madrid has won three Football of the Years in terms of golden balls. Henrik with another three. Rodrigo Miguel for Newcastle. 189 potential ability he, of course, has got there. As a striker, he's been mm, underwhelming, really, in terms of his goals output. But, yeah, Henrik with three world golden balls, and that's it. Player of the Year, four for Henrik. Jerzy Davidovsky did get one as well when he was at Real Madrid in 2039 so it's Henrik Pettersson he went to Real Madrid and he wasn't doing great to begin with it took him a couple of seasons or so to find his feet but when he found his feet boy did he find them look at that an 8.17 over here 19 goals 13 assists 14 player of the matches for his career he got a 7.65 overall absolutely phenomenal and the team of the year surely all seasons there he is Henrik Pettersson got himself in the squad opposite Kylian Mbappe Jude as the central attacking midfielder Erling Haaland up front as you might expect well that is it for today's experiment ladies and gentlemen that is the resolute personality type it's a bloody good one isn't it I hope you've enjoyed this one I hope you found it informative and any ideas that you might have for future experiments please like I said earlier do leave them in the comments down below Anything I might have missed during this experiment? Let me know. And most importantly, gang, take good care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.